Hi there, this is Hans Forsten with Napkin Engineering Network. This video discusses the Insul setup for impact isolation prediction. The Insul software is developed by Marshall Day Acoustics. I will be using Insul version 9, revision 24. This video is for educational purpose only and should not be considered a software training or training in architectural acoustics. Before I get started, I do recommend to review and read the Insul help, which goes in much detail on the setup theory, parameters, and prediction limitation of the software. There's also a dedicated section on impact sound prediction. The impact isolation and calculation incorporated in INSO are based on uh, three basic theories, one published by Kramer, one Brunsquark and Hammer, and one Albert. Kramer's theory of point source excitation can be used uh, to evaluate vertical impact noise um, radiation for massive, rigid, homogeneous construction, typically heavy concrete construction. Brunskog and Hammer's theory calculated the energy radiated through lightweight floor layers. The theory is comparable to Kramer's point force excitation but includes consideration of the resistance and stiffness of lightweight impact surfaces and floors. Alvea's theory predicts the performance of floor covers on heavy uh, heavy floor like concrete floors. Resilient floor covering such as carpets and cork can act as a holistic layer between the noise source and floor structures and thus reduce the amount of impact energy that is transferred into the floor. Because floor covering are relatively thin, improvements on impact noise radiations are generally achieved at high frequencies. Typically a floor covering will not be able to significantly reduce impact noise at frequency less than 500 Hertz, unless it's uh, a isolation system. Anyway, please review the Insul help and manual for more details. One last note, Insul does not calculate impact noise radiation in horizontal or diagonal direction. The prediction is primarily for the vertical radiation of impact noise, meaning upstairs or downstairs. Users should be aware of the limitations. Like any prediction tool, Insul is not a substitution for test data. Comparison with test data shows that Insul is in generally within plus minus three to five IIC points for most massive construction, which include concrete floors. It is within plus minus three to six IIC points for most lightweight floor construction, where the combined thickness of floor layers is less than one to one and a half inches. Let's get started. So here we have a concrete floor. So we here have a floor a calculation. We have an IIC calculation. So the assessment is based on IIC. Here we can turn on the description. We can change from IIC by clicking right here and we're getting the normalized weighted level in this case 80 decibels so these for anyone in Europe they would like to uh, predict that in terms of the normalized weighted level all right I turn it back right now we are set up for a single panel and um, the panel just like with the wall construction we can have up to six different layers of different uh, materials. Right now this is a, a single layer with uh, six inches of concrete and uh, so here just the same uh, selection as with the STC calculation. At the bottom we see here the normalized impact sound pressure levels and here we see the dashed blue line. Again this is the reference curve that we have and this starts in terms of the IIC at 100 Hertz and goes all the way to 3.1 kilohertz. This is a little bit inverted to the normal STC curve. So in terms of the IIC number, the IIC number is 110 decibels. So here at the very top, minus whatever IIC number we have, we are getting where that curve um, kind of falls. So in this case at 500 Hertz, we have 82 decibels, 110 minus 82 gives us 80, 28 uh, IIC, an IIC value of 28. Um, so the biggest uh, 
differences again here between the predicted and the uh, reference cannot be more than 32 decibels and the biggest single difference cannot be more than 8 decibels anyway so here we can uh, we start with 28 decibels uh, there's flow coverings and here we have flow coverings because it's already the program knows it's a heavyweight floor the flow covering it uh, shows are for heavy flooring all right so we, we start with none then we have cork that will increase it by 15 decibels here we have a little bit more 70 decibels just the vinyl 5 decibels carpet it increases it by 36 decibels so as you can see each each of these coverings the program will calculate and apply the reductions and also changes the reference curve in terms of the reductions I want to show in the material editor let me open up the material editor we have a selection of floor coverings here we have floor coverings and here you can see that each floor covering is set to be either a type heavyweight or lightweight so let me just uh, select here and just say I want to just see the heavyweight so now we can just see the materials for the heavyweight I have it set up that it shows all the materials worldwide so here you have a selection of everything here and for each of these uh, the program you can define in this case it's already defined in the install data but we can copy that and create a custom uh, material so if we have one of these uh, let me use this one I can make a copy of that so now we have a copy of that and then you can make changes in terms of thickness density the young modulus uh, the damping orthotropic ratio and so on as well as the underlayment what are kind some of those parameters now with that information the program will uh, calculate or make a prediction and in this case we actually have some test data so that's the um, the uh, green uh, dotted points these are the IIC uh, Delta IIC correction that we got uh, in a specific uh, test setup concrete by itself and then with this uh, acoustomat in this case on ceramic tiles and uh, you can see that the brown line would give you the uh, calculated or estimated uh, IIC that INSO will predict and uh, here it actually will use the green dots from the measurement here in the tables that's where we would put in the measurement data so this could be just with copy and paste you can add your own material information and then again here we will uh, assign that to either heavyweight and lightweight in this example this is of course a concrete floor so this would be heavyweight and so here we only see anything that is uh, assigned to heavyweight flooring in terms of floor covering so here we can uh, take a look there is also some floating uh, floors so here we have a um, 70, mil uh, 70 millimeters so it's about three inch of uh, screed uh, on a floating uh, 16 millimeter fiber probably and here we can get to an IIC value of 66 decibels now in case uh, you have a uh, flooring and uh, you cannot put any uh, flooring on top of it so we are back to no uh, flow cover and we still want to have some reduction in terms of the IIC so one option would be that we are suspending a ceiling here so in this case we would go to a, a double system a double floor system so here we have a panel one panel two so the panel one is the concrete and panel two in this case is right now a two layer uh, gypsum uh, gypsum boards and we have the frame uh, is a steel spring with hangers neoprene hangers and with that we can also get up to about an ISC of 66 there's of course other options here beside the um, uh, suspended uh, steel spring 
we have uh, solid joists right here of course it has more connection to that so less uh, isolation here with the resilient rail and here we have uh, something that is again suspended not quite as good as the uh, neoprene suspension all right so that's um, yeah like the other choices that we have we have separated floors that would also provide uh, the uh, mechanical isolation between the concrete and the suspended ceiling. So here we are starting now with the OSB oriented strand board and uh, we go with a double flooring and uh, some sort of a solid joist with resilient rail and uh, so here panel one let's just do it with one one layers so here we are in the order of IIC 47. So here again, we can uh, make different changes in terms of the construction. And then of course here we have also floor covering. Now this floor covering is a different selection as is uh, this is a lightweight uh, construction. So here the IIC would be uh, from measurements uh, that are Delta IIC measurements on lightweight flooring. So here we have less of a variety in terms of materials. So here we have uh, again a carpet with underlayment. Uh, we'll bring down uh, of course the uh, the high frequencies. So here we have the prediction without uh, carpet. So here I'll save this uh, in the comparison without carpet. And and then we turn on the carpet or we add the carpet or maybe the, the vinyl so you can see that uh, most of the effects are high frequencies here we have a very thick carpet have it with a uh, carpet on under layer and uh, increase it by two decibel uh, two two uh, IIC points and then here we can also take a look at a thicker carpet that would increase it uh, all the way to IIC 69. So that's the mid and high frequencies. This concludes the video. Thanks for listening. This was a short overview on IIC predictions in Insole. I strongly again recommend to review the help. Thank you again. Have a great day. Bye for now.